In the eyes of the American people, I would have been a hero. They would have loved me. Maybe even put me forward for the presidential candidate, the Democrats. After all, I would have taken the Black Hills from those Indians that had held on to it so stubbornly. I would have proven the manifest destiny of the American people to rule the world. In the name of liberty and freedom, I would have beaten those savages. I didn't need gatling guns or extra men. I needed to prove myself. And I suppose in the end, that's what lost us the battle. Yeah! Me and my school are not afraid of the battle ahead. We have had a recent win and are feeling confident. Our leader, Crazy Horse, is a strong warrior. I'm honored to fight alongside Crazy Horse. We are fighting for what we believe in and hope for a good outcome. The US Army has pushed us around for too long. Breaking the Fort Laramie duty was their last chance. The Black Hills are sacred to the Sioux. We shall make our stand at Little Bighorn. We must, as our very way of life is at risk. We cannot afford to be pushed back onto those dreadful reservations. They will be the death of our people. I have 2,000 Sioux warriors at my disposal, and each of them are ready to die for what they believe in. I'm worried about the soldiers taking over and trespassing into our village. By them taking over the village, they will harm my people and the children, and the children are very important to the village to pass on our traditions. We have a definite advantage during this battle. We have 2,000 strong men against their puny 600. Some of us even have better weaponry than the cavalrymen. We deserve this win, and I'm very proud of us. I've gathered over 2,000 warriors from many different tribes. These tribes, they used to fight against each other, but now have come together to fight the one common evil, the US Army. Here on the Black Hills, there's Sioux, Chichini and Apache. The US Army have tried to dig up our sacred land where our ancestors roam. We cannot let this happen. They have offended us and the ancestors who've come before us. Howdy, George Armstrong Custer here, about to lead the 7th Cavalry in a battle against those pesky Indians. I don't need those old guns they keep out from me. All I need is a good old American spirit. With that, I am invincible. And once I have one, they're gonna have to offer me that presidency. I'm making the soldiers walk day and night. That'll toughen them up. When we win the war, I will return a hero and even be president. General Terry offered me an extra 180 troops and some Gatling guns. I declined. It'd be too easy. I decided to split up my men because... because it worked in the Battle of Wafid. That was good. That moron Guster has gone straight into battle. He's not even waiting for extra reinforcements, he's turned down extra guns, he's even got journalists down here to record this win that he's not gonna have. He's gonna get us all killed for the sake of his own presidency, which because he's dead, he's not even gonna have that either. I just don't know what's gonna happen. There's 600 of us, all broken up into groups against over 2,000 Indians. We're gonna get hammered into the ground. What's my wife gonna think? Hopefully she won't think of me as a coward or an idiot. 
my kids as well. I just, I hope they remember me as a good man. Someone who tried to do what was right for his life. I love them. I believe I can take the engines on by myself. I don't need to wait for Terry and his men. They will just slow me down. My name's Jesse Smith. I'm a soldier in the 7th Cavalry, where well, I was left of it. Back before the battle at the junction of Rosebud Creek and the Yellowstone River, we were offered 180 extra men and heavy powerful Gatlingans. But Custer declined our pride. I think those guns would have won us a battle or at least saved lives. Custer should have followed the plan. We should have gone it alone, we should have waited for the others. During the battle, Custer ordered his men to split up. We laughed at his mistake as we easily overpowered his small groups. Custer should have followed the plan too. Again, his pride took over and he wants all the glory. Custer is the biggest idiot I've ever met. Because of him, we could all die and the Indians could win. He sent me across the river with Major Reno to attack the southern end of the Indian camp. The scouts told him not to, but he didn't listen. Now we've retreated across the river with dying men all around us while we try to hold off the Indians. I know I'm going to be one of them. But if I have some miracle idea live through this, I'm going to kill Custer. We won. I knew we would. They fought bravely. But these hills are ours. Maybe now they'll take us seriously and realise that the hills are not for sale. George Armstrong Custer here, about to leave the 7th Cavalry in a battle against those pesky Indians. Uh. We've had a recent win and, and oh, oh, I did it, I messed up. I decided to split up my men because it worked in the battle of, um, Tashid, Washid. Oh god, um. Why did I join the American army? Oh no, no, screw it, that sucks. Oh. Before the battle of the junction of Yellowstone Creek, yeah, oh my god. And he led us into battle with little weapons and, and, no, that's wrong, sorry. <laughs>